First up is there's a new beta FPV AIO. Um, it is the uh, what they're calling the 2022 version. It's their new 12 amp uh, 1S AIO. Oh. And unfortunately, it does have a caveat that we wanted to let you know about. So if you scroll on down there. This looks great. Uh, a little, great little yeah. AIO. Sure, what could be wrong with it? So it's a new version of their uh, of their AI, but right, uh, hold on, just above that, scroll back oh, up. Went too far, uh, sorry. Yep, yeah, a little farther, a little farther. There we go, right, right in there. there. Yeah, so basically um, they explained that this, they had to replace the um, ESC uh, hardware with the BB51. So it's a new, um, new chip that the ESCs are running on. And that means that there are some caveats. So mm -hmm. unfortunately, we are here to PSA to you that um, if you use, uh, basically, uh, if you use uh, BL Heli Configurator or if you use BL Heli Suite, that's not the version they say, if it's earlier. Or... And you change it? No. I already checked that. I'm not not beta flight? Actual, not nope, beta flight? Nope. 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 Okay. I already checked it. I believe it's you. Confirm. Um, so just to be clear, beta flight, uh, BL Heli Configurator and BL Heli S, BL Heli Suite... If you use either one of those, and you, BL Heli Suite is not the correct version, it will brick the ESC if you change settings. Yeah. Um, however, um, if you update the BL Heli Suite to the version they say, or if you use the preview version of esc-configurator.com that we've got linked for you, the Blue Jay yeah. um, sponsored configurator, mm -hmm. um, you can actually change settings. And I talked to uh, Style Sucks today, and he actually patched it so it was ready for the news. So you can actually flash oh. BL Heli S with this as well. Okay. Uh, if you need to flash BL Heli S with so this as well. So the pro this is a problem that is more uh, due to the the lack of notification. So like I'm not mad that Beta FPV had to use a different chip on their ESC. That's the world we live in. You can't always get the hardware you want at a price that works, and you have to make compromises. I commend them for their in, 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 uh, ingenuity in working around the problem. But the problem is that if you're going to ship a product. Where's the, I, I scrolled away. If you're going to ship a product that will brick, if you do something completely normal, like flash it with the tool that everyone uses, you can't just bury the warning about this where, where I can't even find it. Oh, well, right here. Not, oh, hey. And it's not even a real warning. Like it doesn't say it will brick. It just says like, yeah. if you want to set up the SC, use these things. It doesn't necessarily say like, hey, danger, you're going to break yeah. stuff if you don't, you know? Yeah. So, um. Yeah, just be aware that, uh, yeah, that can happen. But now there yeah. is a ESC configurator option for you. There's a new BL Heli, BL Heli suite if you prefer to use that. Mm -hmm. And there's a new firmware uh, coming from BlueJay. It's not ready yet, but we have a PR linked in the show notes. Um, and BlueJay will be supporting this as well as soon as they can. So. Okay. Well, I per and I, you know, this is just how I am. I personally use ESC-configurator whenever I need to flash. I actually actually use it to flash BlueJay. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just, yeah. all my BL Heli S... Blue Jay and AM32. This is where I go. So now we can just go to preview.escconfigurator.com. Not the old one, Blunty, because I assume the old one will yep. also brick the same as BL Heli S. Uh, yeah, it will be updated soon, but it's not mm -hmm. updated yet. Um, so okay. as soon as they can get it updated, they'll get it updated. And then the other note, just to say is, like I said, we did link that PR. If you have this BB51 and you want to go do testing uh, with the PR firmware for BlueJay, they'd love for you to do that. And you can hop over in their Discord and help them out with that. So. I'll say one more thing, which is if you already did this and bricked your ESC, it is recoverable. You need to do a thing called the C2. C is in Charlie 2 flash. So there is an interface on the ESC. There's four little pads you solder to. And then you use an Arduino, which surely you have one of those, to uh, set up a C2 flash and you flash it. There's Oscar Leung has instructions for how to do it. I have a very old video showing how to do it. It is recoverable with some hoops that you have to jump through if you feel like it. I just want to make sure you know that's out there. But uh, okay. Um, yeah. Uh, for once, we did a story about a beta FPV product having a problem, and I actually didn't really, like, jump down beta, beta FPV's throat. Just a little. Yeah. But, I mean, it hey. sucks, but at least, it, it, I think in most cases, it won't be a problem. The mm -hmm. initial story, we'll just say the initial story, what you were trying to allude to earlier, was that we heard it was affected in beta flight configurator. So if you change motor direction in beta flight configurator, that settings yeah. change would brick it. However, I had StyleSux test that today with his BB51 and was not able to uh, get that happening the, with either BLS or the BlueJay firmware. So I'm, I, as far as I can tell, that is not the case, and probably something else was going on there yeah, um, okay. to, to make that also happen. Or maybe he went into BLS suite 
without realizing it and switch something or whatever Maybe. happened or, uh, you know, it, I'm not even sure if connecting to it might affect it and not just changing settings, you know? So okay. uh, there's basically different EEPROMs. And so like your configurator is setting EEPROM settings. And if it doesn't know what the EEPROM is actually supposed to do, it's just going to set something randomly. And that might, you know, might not even let it power up again. So. I'm going to make style sucks a moderator here. I see him in the chat. Uh, Great. Whenever there's, uh, he says, uh, beta FPV was super cooperative with test boards for BB 5.1, by the way. He just wants us to know Excellent. that paid FP was really working with the devs. That's always good. 